number 80. Page 50. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask thus, Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let's pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Since God had made him a promise, Abraham refused either to deny it or even to doubt it, but drew strength from faith and gave glory to God, convinced that God had power to do what he had promised. This is the faith that was considered as justifying him. Scripture, however, does not refer only to him, but to us as well when it says that his faith was thus considered. Our faith, too, will be considered if we believe in him who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead, Jesus who was put to death for our sins and raised to life to justify us. This is the word of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people. 
He has raised up for us a mighty saviour in the house of David, his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men those who were his prophets from of old. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people. A saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people. He swore to Abraham, our father, to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people. Happy are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. A man in the crowd said to Jesus, Master, tell my brother to give me a share of our inheritance. My friend, he replied, who appointed me your judge or the arbiter of your claims? Then he said to them, watch and be on your guard against avarice of any kind, for a man's life is not made secure by what he owns, even when he has more than he needs. Then he told them a parable. There was once a rich man who, having had a good harvest from his land, thought to himself, what am I to do? I have not enough room to store my crops. Then he said, this is what I will do. I will pull down my barns and build bigger ones and store all my grain and my goods in them. And I will say to my soul, my soul, you have plenty of good things laid by for many years to come. Take things easy, eat, drink, and have a good time. But God said to him, fool, this very night the demand will be made for your soul, and this horde of yours, whose will it then be? So it is when a man stores up treasure for himself in place of making himself rich in the sight of God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, in Jesus Christ, we are all here in the shrine of His Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Fatima. We are participating in this Holy Eucharist and we have listened to a beautiful gospel passage according to Luke. That is uh, uh, very clear that it, it is when a man stores up treasure for himself in place of making himself rich in the sight of God. Treasure and wealth 
will not make you a man rich in the sight of god that is the touching words uh, i get from this gospel passage a man can have lot of wealth it may help him to go around the world to visit many places to acquire so many friends but it doesn't help if he doesn't acquire treasure in heaven that is of god the spiritual treasure the spiritual needs the spiritual accumulation that is what uh, jesus tells to each one of us through this gospel passage so we have to think here a little about what all things we possess we have we accumulate without the spiritual intention without the help of god without making use of them to enter into the kingdom of god so to say we need god's help we need spiritual treasure we need a, our lady's intercession to go near to god or to enter into heaven or to enter into the eternal life this is a short message that we get from today's word of god let us meditate on it let us uh, make it in our life to be practiced let us beseech god's help to how to accumulate spiritual treasures not material treasures let us pray to uh, our lady of fatima that he may take us to jesus he may indicate to us jesus he may tell how he told in the miracle of cana do what jesus say go to him do what jesus says the same way we are also have to go to jesus through the intercession of blessed mary of fatima amen brethren here at this sacred spot where the most holy virgin mary appeared let us present our prayers to god our father who gave us the mother of his son to be our mother for all the faithful that by obeying the appeals of mary in a spirit of true penance and prayer they may wake wholeheartedly for the renewal of the world and for the kingdom of Christ we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for those who exercise sacred ministry in the church that they may be attentive to the word of god love it and proclaim it with fidelity and enthusiasm as mary did we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for those who govern <coughs> nations that they may work for justice and peace in the world and harmoniously collaborate in the just distribution of earthly goods among all the inhabitants of the world we pray to the lord, lord hear our for all those who suffer that in union with mary consoler of the afflicted in the loving care of others and in the contemplation of the cross of christ they may find courage to face life we pray to the lord, lord for all of us here present and for our families 
for our nations and our cities that by the intercession of Mary, those who seek Christ may find him, sinners may be converted, young people may open their hearts with enthusiasm to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. For a moment, let us place our personal intentions and pray to him in silence. God of infinite goodness, attentive to the supplication of your people and with the prayers of Mary, mother of your son and mother of the church, to help us listen to our pleas and increase our faith. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your son, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Page 50. Hymn number 79, All That I Am. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of all one's church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His holiness. For through He was, for though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore He has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey Him, and has become the souls of eternal salvation. And so with the angels and archangels, with the throne and domination, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory.
you are holy indeed and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore o lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death yes, o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore o lord as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven and as we look forward to his second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice look with pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his holy spirit may become one body one spirit in christ may he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed Apostle and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, at whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, which our servant Francis, our Pope, Antonio, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom, for there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good.
through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever at the savior's commands and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us Lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior Jesus Christ Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord jesus be with you always with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace Lamb of God May the receiving of your body and blood Lord Jesus Christ not be in this judgment and condemnation but through your loving mercy be for the protection of mind and body and heart Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb page 49 hymn number 76 bind us together lord
Let us stand and face the Our Lady statue. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us recite the Jubilee prayer of consecration. Let us together. Hail, Mother of the Lord, Virgin Mary, Queen of the Rosary of Fatima, blessed among all women. You are the image of the Church dressed in the Paschal light. You are the owner of our people. You are the triumph over the mark of evil, prophecy of the merciful love of the Father, teacher of the annunciation of the good news of the Son, Sign of the burning fire of the Holy Spirit, teach us in this valley of sorrows, joys, the eternal truths that the Father reveals to the little ones. Show us the strength of your mantle of protection. In your immaculate heart, be the refuge of sinners and the way that leads to God. In unity with my brethren, in faith, hope, and love, I surrender myself to you. In unity with my brethren, through you I consecrate myself to God, O Virgin of the Rosary of Fatima, and thus surrounded by the light comes from your hands. I will give glory to the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Now we bless the religious subjects you have. If you have any item you want to be blessed, the religious item you want to be blessed, if you, if you don't mind, you can hold them up now. Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless these sacramentals. But through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, St. Francisco and Jacinta Matus, may they be a sign of transformation and change in our lives for increase of love for one another. And may we adore you through this means. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Page 48, hymn number 75, Give Me Joy. <laughs>
hymn 49. Father Mother Mary, as I kneel before you. <laughs> 